I'm a product of my granddad's son Hard work and hands and a job well done It's kind of a family tradition, you know? I mean, my dad and my cousins and my nephews and brother-in-laws and everybody, you know, that's just what we've always done. But horses were the big thing. Skin as thick as railroad ties And you could see kindness in his eyes and Roping cows and getting up and early in the morning and seeing all the things you, you just can't see from town. You just can't see it. You meet a lot of good people, a lot of good cowboys, you know. There's a lot, a lot of cowboys, a lot better cowboys than I was, you know. But I enjoyed being around them and, and doing it. I enjoyed trying to rope and ride and everything. It's an evolution that is non-stop turning. I mean, it's, it's amazing the difference between when I was a kid just, just learning to where we are now. You know, horses have changed a lot. You used to see a lot of, oh, you see ball-faced horses and stocking-legged horses, horses with spots on their flank and uh, savinas and all them, you know. You don't see that anymore. The horses have changed, that's for sure. But we had uh, long days then. We didn't have no horse trailers. We did everything horseback all, all over the country. I don't know, you know, I never was around where people wanted to buy paintings. But Lance moved up there, sisters, and run on to these people that liked paintings, like original art and stuff like that, and had a little money. People I was around, you know, was always so poor, they couldn't have bought anything anyways. It's hard. The, the money's never there. You know, you're, you're never going to be able to keep up with your friends buying new pickups and, and all that. But you have more freedom than you'll ever know. Strong enough to stay and fight. Man enough to do what's right. Lynn, do you have a favorite picture? No. Yeah. No, I wouldn't buy one of them. <laughs> so then he up and sells a picture for ten thousand dollars. I said, you mean? You don't mean 10,000? He said, yeah. Uncle Lenny he said, I got 10,000. I said, well, for crying out loud. Said, he said, I got some more people I think will buy some. And I said, well, let's go in partnership. I'll give you half of whatever you get. No, he said, I can't do it. I said, you can, because I wouldn't sell anything one for you. So that's the first time I realized, and I got looking, I thought, well, maybe they're better than I thought. I, I never real fond of my paintings, you know. They just don't suit me a lot of times, you know. I've heard of artists that kept some picture they done because they're so fond of it. Not me, and I'm none of them. You can go away. I don't want them anymore. There. Blood is in my 